Okay, this is basically some things that do three different things. Moderate the noise level, moderate the recoil after the fact that the round leaves the muzzle, and the smoke signature, which in most cases, if you're using either the straight muzzle or even this, your gas column goes out between you and your target. This actually diverts the entire gas column off to the side, out of the way of door sight line through the shot. You see a cleaner picture to the target all the way through the shot. And the recoil actually pulls the gun back forward a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, we go check that target. There's going to be just one little tiny ragged hole. Okay. Three shots with no suppressor, no muzzle break. Coils firmer too. Is that three? Okay. Okay, you'll note this is also left hand thread. It was actually set up for the particular suppressor and I had to turn down the barrel and the threads for this. So this isn't something you can do overnight in your uh, basement uh, machine shop unless you own it. Okay, as you can see this muzzle brake is very visible all the way through and the bore line would be actually very visible as the bullet goes through. Uh, darn, don't have a ballpoint pen. Okay, at any rate, this actually helps the gun. It's like putting a parachute out there on the gas column to help pull the gun back in to battery it. Okay, that's it. And last but not least will be the muzzle brake. Now this one is ventilated all the way to the front versus an earlier model where I had left uh, about a half inch of length unvented. But the line, the bores through are 90 degrees off. They aren't turned back. They aren't anything. Okay. You'll note how it vents off to the side as it goes.
That's okay.